Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video tutorial, I talk about how to create a data model with Power Pivot tools and create a relationship between the customer info and the order info based on data model using Power Pivot tab or ribbon installed on my microsoft excel interface so today we are moving further into how to create a pivot table based on data model so now that we have already created our data model based on both customer info and the order info and created the relationship between those two data sets we can now report this data using a pivot table so let's take a look at how we can create a pivot table based on our newly model which is data model all right so i'm um, back inside the exercise file which is the same that i have been using i am going to go to to the power pivot tab here then give it a click then i'm going to open up my data model all right i'm going to go to the manage button here so i will give it a click this we hope we open up the same window that we have been we have experienced in our previous lecture when we are adding our data set to the data model and creating the relationship between them all right so i have got my two tab down here that is which is customer info and the word the order info and now i want to create the pivot table so hope here on my home tab top of my screen we did the power pivot halfway you can see down here i have got my power pivot table tool so i will give that a click all right so i'll give that a, i'm going to create a new pivot table so i'm moving away from here from the data model window or the power pivot window and back inside of the excel application so this look a little bit different than what we have been exper experienced creating the standard pivot table but first step i'm going to click on new worksheet here all right so okay good now down below here down below down below here i'll give it a double i'll give it a double click and rename it and let me to what to let me rename it to what model let me rename it to model pivot table all right so now so that i can recognize the one i'm working with all right so now looking over into our pivot table feed here you can see feed section this at the right hand side here i can see that i have got series of tables there in order in order to know which table i have created the relationship between them just over your cursor on each and every one of them it will display the data source for each table however you can see so as i'm this this one is i, I got this from the from the format and uh, from the formatting a list at the table so i got this from a conditional format so uh, now however my data source which is customer info and order info can be seen by hovering to, um, on each of the, the table just take a look now you can see that on the table five i have the data source table five which is customer info and the word table six which is represented by the word the order info now my Table five and table six, which, is, which has been represented by, by customer info and how that can now be used to build our pivot table from our pivot table 
feed all right now in the table five here i have got the customer info table with all the details with all the with all the field from that customer info section and in the table six here down below i have got my what the order info as well as well and all the feed from the table and they are all related to one another this is just trying to to create a simple pivot table based on the multiple set of data through our data model so let's say from table 5 here up here let's say from table 5 okay which is customer info so uh, I, would I would like to get the country I would like to get the country got to get it get the country so now i'm going to you know i want to get the country i want to build my data table from the uh, now from the country so now let me drag the country down to the what uh, to the row section section here yeah. you can now i've got all the countries from the world uh, the customer info table you can see at my left hand side also let's move to the word table six as well table six as well since both have a relationship between each other so i, I want to do something about the other priority here so i want to do about something about the other priority here i want to count or know the other priority that has been taking place from different countries all i need to do is to drag the other priority from the one the table feed here section into the word into the word the value section feed section here you can see now note that this we only count the other power other priority because we are not dealing with the, with the value here to see this let's let's go back to our data source that is for other info okay for other info other info sheet you can see that we only have range of letter for the for for the, for the other party not value at the column column head so that is simple as that but a very powerful tool that we can grab data set or list whether they have whether 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 they whether they have their list or whether they have from a z or from a z, um, from some other source or some other data based on online services online services we can create a relationship between them and they create our pivot table. so try this out all right so create a just data model create your two set of data and create the relationship between them by building up your report using two data set relationship thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so i'll keep giving you more of the excel function bye